Um, what are, what are the, what's the most positive thing you've experienced as a, as a young writer so far in your career? We've talked about something yeah. negative. Let's talk about something positive. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the most positive has just been meeting uh, my readers and meeting the actors. Actors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be because, I mean, why? Because uh, it it makes it all worth it, or it's uh, just seeing that someone can appreciate uh, uh, what you have been working on, or been alone with for a long time. It. Uh, yeah, and you know, uh, hear them laughing, in the audience, and. Uh, crying, <laughs> which is my number one goal, <laughs> to get the audience to cry, and uh, yeah, that's the just um, get the uh, response. Response, <laughs> yes. Feedback, yeah. Um, do you have a plan uh, for how to keep developing yourself as a writer? Um, just you know, continue to uh, listen and to read and to see uh, go in the theater and see plays and read plays and just uh, yeah <laughs> um, how about feedback do you have, you have you thought about you know um, how to how to, to find that feedback to to find that to find the readers or to find the, I mean, the first reader, the, the dramaturgs or, you know, um, do, do you need, do you feel like you need that relationship to continue or, or do you feel like you can kind of dramaturg yourself now that you've... No, been... no. I think I'm, um, I, uh, because of my uh, self-doubt and it, I'm sure it has something to do with me not being an experienced writer. I'm sure it will get better, but now I feel like I'm really dependent on some someone, uh, yeah, like a dramaturg or an editor. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And I'm sure and I also will be that when I get older, but uh, now it's uh, really important for me to have that second opinion and quite like early in the process. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, because a lot of a lot of writers want to, you know, finish it before they send it to a dramaturg. It's, yeah. Or they do. They want to. So, but, but you want to let people in quite early. Uh. No, I'm quite. It's uh, ambivalent. Yeah, ambival ambivalent. Ambivalent. Mm. Um, because uh, I, I mean, I want to keep it to my chest, and yeah. I want to finish it, and I want to. Uh, make sure that I have done like every possible thing I could mm. with that before I send it away. But then I also need uh, just like uh, a pat on the back, or I <laughs> I need uh, some kind of encouragement that I'm on the right track, or it's something there. Um, so it's yeah, it's ambivalent. Mm. Um, what? Uh, if you're going to write for, for young audiences, if, you, if you're going to write a play um, for uh, for a young audience, which themes would you like to tackle? What would you like to write about? Do you have Do you have any thoughts or any 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 things you um, that concern you? Mm, I think uh, one of the things I love about writing for uh, young actors actors are um, it's just that period in life at least for me it was so uh, you know vibrant and it was so full of these uh, existential questions and uh, so it's uh, it's just a lot of themes and um, to work with uh, identity and um, yeah like big questions that uh, 
yeah. 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 <laughs> um, do you do you have any plans at the moment? Are you thinking of anything for the theatre at the moment, or are you focusing just on your uh, your next novel at the moment? Um, if now I'm um, working on uh, a novel, but I always. Uh, no, I have like thousands of projects <laughs> at the same time, but it's, uh, I think I can't say anything uh, that deep. Anything <laughs> smart, so yeah, clever, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, do you normally write uh, several things at the same time? Do you have several processes going? Or do you focus on one and then just kind of put all the other notes in a, up in, I mean, in the drawer? <laughs> that's exactly what I do. I have uh, like a main big project, but uh, then I get uh, uh, you know thoughts and ideas that don't fit in yeah. the big. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I just put them. Uh, I write them down, and I think uh, I'll come back to it. <laughs> um, do you uh do you, do you have like a kind of cataloging system for for all those ideas? Did you sort them and organize them? Yeah, but I'm really like messy, so I don't think uh, it only works for me. <laughs> that cuddling system, it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> I, I watched um, a documentary about Joan Rivers. Do you know yeah. who she is? She's a or was she? She's dead now, I think. She's a she was a stand up comedian. One, okay, of the, yeah. one of the big female stand-up comedians uh, and in this documentary you see her office and she's got a cupboard like a kind of a, a massive filing cupboard it fills a whole wall and it's her joke cupboard she <laughs> writes down every joke she's ever thought of and and files it in, in themes and you know and it says jokes about and it's got different themes written in all the different drawers and everything and she's like oh do you do you want a, a joke about sex and she's going to pull out a drawer and pull out a card <laughs> and she's got a joke there it's just amazing how yeah. you know and she's a, of course she's a writer you know and um and, and that but i don't have that kind of system in my notes at all uh despite being an organized person <laughs> um thank you so much for coming and participating in this interview thank you for having me it was absolutely wonderful thank you so much <laughs>